Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at settings in CAD Sketcher to increase the line width for these planes and also the Sketcher elements. So any geometry we place in, you notice that we've got a much thicker line here. I'm going to show you how to change those in CAD Sketcher. This also includes any constraints that we add. So if I go to the tools, we've got the constraints in here. So I'm going to add a diameter and I'm going to show you how to increase the size of this. So it's much easier to see. When we first installed CAD Sketcher, we come up to the edit and the preferences. And we can find CAD Sketcher in the installed add-ons here. If you can't find it, just type in something like CAD and we'll find it here. If we open this up, and come down to the general, we've got something called entity scale. Pull this to the side. And you notice that the entity scale actually controls the width of the geometry. So as you can see, as I bring it up, that width is increased and decreased. So I'm going to bring it up to about 1.8. We can type in here 1.25 and we've got a nice width on that geometry. The work plane size is when I leave this now, let's delete that sketch, is when we hit add sketch and we add our work planes. Let's come around to something like this so we can see the work planes, add sketch, and there they are there. So the work plane size here, we can increase this and notice how these work planes increase. We also control it by this entity scale as well. Let's place a sketch upon this work plane. We'll close this a second, add some geometry. Something simple. And we'll show you how to control the constraints as well. So we've got the basic geometry in here. We have the diameter constraint to this one, and that's add some length constraints as well. So distance constraint to this one and this one as well. Let's right click and cancel. Let's place the distance constraint in there. There we go. So distances are in there. So if I come back to edit and preferences, and we scroll down to the general, we've got the icon size and the text size as well. Now let's have a look what these control. The icon size, if I bring this up, you notice that the icons, the vertical and the horizontal constraints are controlled there as well. Let's look from the top. There we are, those are in there. The text size, obviously that's the text of the constraint and the arrow sizes, you can control those as well. So this makes it much easier to see when we're creating our sketches and geometry in CAD Sketcher. So I hope that's answered those questions and I hope to see you back in the next video. If you're enjoying these videos and you would like to support the channel, then you can do so via my Ko-Fi page. That's at ko-fi.com forward slash MJ3D Studio. Any donations will be used to help to span the channel. I'd like to thank you all for watching and I hope to see you again soon.